American polls show Biden and Trump's incredible progress. A new poll conducted on Wednesday by Reuters in cooperation with Epsos showed that the Democratic candidate in the upcoming U.S. presidential elections, Joe Biden, outperforms the U.S. President, Donald Trump, by about 8 percent in support of registered voters, and he enjoys a big difference among voters who did not their opinion so far. The poll showed that about 46 percent of registered voters said that they would support Biden in the elections taking place next November, while about 38 percent would support Trump, the Republican candidate in the 2020 presidential election. While the rest of the respondents, 16 percent, were divided between those whose opinion was not resolved or intends to support a third candidate or who will not vote. It should be noted that one of the experts in the United States expected in a research model that the imposition of the victory of U.S. President Donald Trump in the upcoming American presidential elections is very large to reach 91 percent. Trump, Americans are smart, and I don't think they will support an incompetent man. U.S. President Donald Trump said he did not believe polls showing that his presidential opponent, Joe Biden, the likely Democrat candidate to advance in the 2020 election race. In an interview with Reuters in the Oval Office of the White House, the Republican president said the Americans are smart, and I don't think they will support an incompetent man. Trump indicated that he did not expect the elections to be a referendum on his handling of the emerging coronavirus pandemic and criticized Biden's decades-long record as a senator and former U.S. Vice President Barack Obama. Biden's Clear Superiority A Reuters-slash-Ipsos poll this week showed that 44 percent of registered voters said they would support Biden in the November 3 elections, while 40 percent said they would support Trump. In three major states where the poll was conducted recently, Michigan, Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, Biden clearly outpaced Trump by 45 percent to 39 percent. It is reported that Trump's victory in these three states in the 2016 elections helped him reach the White House. Pelosi, Biden will be an exceptional president. Doubts about the conduct of the elections. And two-thirds of Americans believed that the corona epidemic would disrupt the ability to vote in the upcoming presidential elections despite their confidence that it would be conducted with integrity and accuracy, while former Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton announced her support for Joe Biden's campaign. On Monday, Trump rejected Biden's allegations that he would try to postpone the elections, telling reporters at the White House that he had never thought about changing the election date, and that he was looking forward to it, describing it as merely propaganda not by Biden, but by many people who work for him. Biden said at an online fundraising party last week, remember my words, I think he will try to postpone the elections in some way and put a justification for not taking place. This is the only way Trump believes he can win. Clinton and Pelosi praise Biden. On the other hand, former Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton said during a video conference with Biden, I want to add my voice to the many who have called you to be our president. Think about what it means to have a real president, not just someone who plays the role of president on TV," added Hillary, who previously worked as Secretary of State, referring to Trump, who lost the previous election. Also on Monday, Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi announced her support for Biden to contest the race for the White House in the upcoming elections, saying that he would be an exceptional president. The Democratic Party has not yet officially named Joe Biden, 77, as his candidate for the presidential race pending its conference in August, but he has become the only candidate by Democrats after his opponent, Bernie Sanders, withdrew early this month.